Hello there kind booktube people, um, I'm back again to read um, another poem um, just to finish off this weekend um, and today I'm going to be reading a poem called A Blessing by James Wright um, I think this is probably one of his um, more famous poems, one of his more um, anthologised uh, poems um, but yeah I just kind of came across it uh, by accident um, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago, and um, every time I read it, it, it seems to, uh, almost like it matures somehow, um, I, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, the, the similes and, and the, the descriptions just seem so apt and so, um, just, just perfectly chosen, um, and it just has this lovely, uh, just, just kind of quite simple, restful, relaxing kind of tone to it um, and yeah I don't know if there's something that I'm missing in, uh, in the poem because it seems so simple um, so if, yeah, if you know anything about the poem, anything I'm kind of missing, any, any cultural um, element to it that I might have missed um, yeah please let me know uh, but for now I'll, I'll just read the, the poem out um, so this is A Blessing by James Wright just off the highway to Rochester, Minnesota, twilight bound softly forth on the grass. And the eyes of those two Indian ponies darken with kindness. They have come gladly out of the willows to welcome my friend and me. We step over the barbed wire into the pasture where they have been grazing all day alone. They ripple tensely, they can hardly contain their happiness that we have come. They bow shyly as wet swans, they love each other. There is no loneliness like theirs. At home once more, they begin munching the young tufts of spring in the darkness. I would like to hold the slenderer one in my arms, for she has walked over to me and nuzzled my left hand. She is black and white, her mane falls wild on her forehead, and the light breeze moves me to caress her long ear that is delicate as the skin over a girl's wrist. Suddenly I realise that if I stepped out of my body I would break into blossom. Uh, yeah, I think uh, James Wright, at least in my book, is kind of like the king of the uh, the last line of the poem um, and the kind of king of line breaks. Um, yeah, I think he, he utilises uh, line breaks so well and his his last lines always tend to pack a bit more of a punch yeah I don't know the, the idea of loneliness in this poem kind of stands out to me there's uh, it kind of emphasizes the word alone towards the beginning uh, where they've been grazing all day comma alone and then later on there is no loneliness like theirs uh, you know it gets me wondering why, why are these two horses alone what 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 is it that um, yeah, is causing them to be so lonely and why are they so happy uh, to see these two people? Um, yeah, I'm not, not totally totally sure, um, but yeah, um, if I can find um, the poem on, online, I'm, I'm sure it'll be somewhere, then I'll, I'll link it underneath um, if you want to read it and uh, look into it. Um, but yeah, please let me know what you thought. Uh, if there are any poems uh, you, you think I might like, um, um, yeah, please. Yeah, I'd be, be happy to, um, um, yeah, to, to hear of new things. And, um, yeah, and if there are any poets that maybe you're enjoying at the moment or poets that you're looking to uh, look into, um, yeah, um, yeah, please share that as well. Uh, but for now, that's everything. Uh, I'll probably uh, check in at some point later uh, in the week. Uh, but for now, uh, that's all. Um, yeah, so take care. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.